Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Stemmer and welcome to the Hatching Tide 2017 event. Had to look into the uh, on the side of the screen to make sure that I got the title right because every single time I would just want to call this event the Easter event. Because this kind of is the Easter event, but it has a proper name, which is the Hatching Tide. Nevertheless, welcome back to the adventures of Elliot Rosepetal, a lovely little monk. There we go. I got even got the flame of the fist just right without seeing any part of the screen. Hi. Who is this here? Hello. How's it going? Who is this here? Hi, Ileana Rose. How's it going? <laughs> They're probably like, what are they doing? Why are they just standing there? Just silently judging me. Nevertheless. Welcome everybody back. I decided we would take a little break here from the primary event and actually do this new Hatching Tide event. This brand new event is promising to have us a mount. A particularly silly and somewhat controversial mount that some people may like or some people may hate. Anyway, nevertheless, let's go ahead and get ourselves engaged and uh, ready for some more Hatching Tide shenanigans for 2016. By talking to Jilly Alipo. At the, uh, at the Mikado's Amphitheater. There we go, let's go talk to her real quick. When eggs fly... Hmm... Chili Alipo would have you participate in a Hatching Tide Tide... Hatching Tide celebration. This quest is available for limited time only, so make sure to do it before the time ends. Greetings, friend! Drawn to the beautiful dormant of Hatching Tide, I take it? Oh, it's you, Elliot! What a delight to see you again! Since we found our shiny golden treasure, I've been visiting a little fellow as often as I'm able. It's fast growing to find a young bird, and it's not to imagine what this year's event might have in store for us. Yeah, we had something to do with the Chocobo last year. Uh, if you want to watch that, gonna be card over there somewhere or in the links to below if you want to check it out for sure. Nevertheless, you see, I've been blessed with a new vision. An egg hovering in the air, from which a Chocobo emerges to startle folk before going on lay on man <laughs> magnificent dazzling gemstone. Surreal, I know. Yet, surreal as it was, we can still recreate the vision. Something magical is bound to happen. For this, we need a hovering egg, which proved rather rarer than one might think. But sure enough, my good friend and helper, Nano, uh, Nan, 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 Nanora, good lord, that took me a while, Nanora managed to find precisely such an egg as appeared in my dream. Without a doubt, a gift from the egg archons of old. With the egg, we shall host a rousing hatching tide to be remembered. In so doing, the dazzling gemstone will surely reveal itself to us. If you would lend a hand in making my vision reality, please seek out Nonora on her, in her smell. She has to carry a floating egg and will furnish you with the further instructions. Off you go now, and egg speed! <laughs> egg speed! Oh my god, I love her, she's so cute. I love her. Let, let, nevertheless, let's go ahead and put ourselves out of the fist of wind and make our way for. We need to head over to uh, Northern Shroud. And apparently, we need to talk to Nora at Hearst Mill. I believe Hearst Mill is a little village north of the area. This supposedly is, should be like a very, very easy quest. I haven't done it yet. I decided I would just wait off for it until later and do it once I, you know, once I am ready and actually have the time to do so. And, I'll, and then I'll go back and do it over my main character just to get the necessary rewards and everything. Nevertheless. Let's head over to another shroud, and yes, Hearst Mill is actually up north here. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I every single time I sit down, I just listen to the music, I see the the vision. I swear to god, I one day I'm gonna make like a, a visual guide with just the music back in every single visual for every single map, right? And just have just a soundtrack. Let's actually try it out right now, just for, just for fun of it. We're gonna do something uh, I don't typically do, typically. Let's take away sound effects, voice system, and sounds, right? And just blast the background volume. Just blast it and let's enjoy the views for just a little bit, right? So one day I'm gonna make that a reality. I'm gonna make that a reality. I'm gonna make a video where it's just gonna be me walking around the areas and just capturing the visuals of every single location within the game accompanied with its music so that we can compare and contrast how the music and the area relate together really nicely. It's gonna be probably the 
<laughs> it's gonna be like the next coming of the ASMR videos, except it's gonna be like a, a visual tour video of Eorzea. It would be cool to do it in Stormblood for sure, because of the new areas and everything, and the new music that, you know, they're gonna accompany with the area. That would be really, really awesome, really gorgeous, in fact, if I, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that person myself and Stormblood itself in general. Go ahead and put myself back into here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take our Chocobo over to Hurstmill then. And uh, see what kind of shenanigans and events we get ourselves into. Should be pretty fun. Looking forward to seeing what happens here. Okay, I just want to note and talk about that flying egg <laughs> that I'm seeing. Oh! Flying egg. Right. The flying, flying egg. Okay, let me go ahead and dismount here. There we go. This is, um... <laughs> the flying egg. Okay, not gonna lie, some of them look pretty cool riding it. They look like they belong on the egg. <laughs> this is the Aura Girl and the uh, Elizabeth male. They look like they belong on the egg. Apparently, there have been a controversy regarding how some races and particular genders of certain races sit on these eggs. And supposedly, some look really good and some look absolutely awful. And particularly Mikotis. We're gonna see what that looks like. <laughs> so, can note here. Ah, back to help us celebrate another hatching tide. Yova, thanks. This year, in order to recreate uh, Jilly's vision, they're given, uh, we're dividing, uh, dividing? Oh yeah, we're dividing participants into two groups, the startlers and the startled. As you seem to be the incompetent rider, I've asked you, I asked you for the former. Your task is simple, ride a type of hovering egg and give folk a jolly good startling. Last to worry, it's easy riding a chocobo. Hmm, really? Not really sure. You seem unsettled. Does something about the egg give you pause? Uh, where did you find it? <laughs> we didn't actually find the egg so much as build ourselves. We couldn't bear to see Jill's disappointment, you see. And it's raining and now gloomy. <laughs> Gotta be uh, running around starting people in the gloomy rain. That's uh, kind of depressing in a way. <laughs> However, uh, hovering the egg simply don't, well, exist. We had to make it by borrowing the wisdom of parts of the ancients, add some existential uh, external touches, and voila, a rideable egg. The exhilaration system, I call it. And it's a marvel of engineering if I do say so my... <gasps> Did I just... I beg you, you mustn't breathe a word to this Jilly. Promise me you'll keep it to yourself. Cross your heart, hope to die. Sure thing, yeah. We will not tell her that those eggs aren't actually... Uh, s s uh, say <laughs> been sent in by the great egg deities of Eorzea. That... Uh, Will not will not let her know that they've been handmade. <laughs> Shock full of egg excitement. The egg puns. The egg puns are amazing. I love this game. So I take it you'll keep the egg exhilaration system true in nature's a secret? Yeah we will. You put my mind at ease. Without settle, let's get you an egg back. <laughs> Shall we? Egg back. Oh my god. Mot uh Mote Yonder will assist you and let you know when you're ready. Okay, Mote, let's go talk to you. Hello, Mote. You wish to ride the acceleration system? But of course! Hop on, and you should see a button. Uh, that's for launching the, the Chocobo, a lifelike cho uh, shock inducing Chocobo doll. Chocobo, wow. <laughs> that's what you don't try using now on, on Nanora. She won't mind, trust me. I launch the Chocobo at Nanora to give her a fright. The action can be selected from the pet hotbar. I don't see how it looks. <laughs> oh my god, there's something really silly about this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that, not gonna lie, that's silly. That is very, very silly. It looks beautiful though. I absolutely love it. We look amazing. We look amazing just straddling an egg. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you know what I think would be hilarious? If we had as a, as a thumbnail us looking shocked. As if we like straddling an egg, we look absolutely terrified. Let's try this out here. Uh, let's do uh, scared. There we go. We'll do scared and we'll see how that looks on us. See how that looks. <laughs> we look terrified right the egg. Oh my god. We are on the egg. Whatever shall we do? <laughs> I might just do like this picture right here. Was looking down on the egg. That looks amazing. I love that. Oh my god, that is silly. 
I can see why people might not like it. It looks very clumsy or very awkward that we are riding as if we are trying to crawl on it or trying to, you know, stay on it. But at the same time, we are riding on an egg and it is, I guess, will be in cat's nature to cling onto an egg like that. <laughs> anyway, let's go uh, spook Nanota here with the, uh, there we go. The Shocobo. <laughs> oh my lord. Wow! Oh my goodness! The Shocobo never fails to work in me and it's my, it's my brainchild. <sighs> If only I wore the heart as well in Jilly. When we used it on her, she simply chuckled and said, Such a sense of humor in our cause must have had. Ah, but I should have complained. Suffice it to say, none of this is for Jilly's ear. At any rate, the show must go on. And for the point on, your role is to festive. <laughs> Isn't it festiv festivities begins in earnest? Festival participants are scattered throughout the Twelfth Wood. Find them and startle them silly with your shockabo. In return, they'll give you a shock egg, which you can exchange for unique prizes. To begin with, try startling, say, three people. When you have the egg, bring them back to me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Three people, three people. They, I guess we gotta go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna find the uh, minimap to see if we can find the people to startle. It's gonna be a little bit difficult seeing them or where they are at because of the rain. Oh, hi. Expecting youth. Bam. Whoa! Oh, Twelve of mercy. Tis a demon bird risen from the seven hells here to read my soul. Woe is me. I am... I am undone! <laughs> Try to be dramatic. Well, how was it? My performance, that is. I'm an aspiring actor, you see, and a join in hatching tide as I could practice my craft. Next time, I believe I'll explore denial. Yes, just a hint to add depth to the calculus of vulnerabilities. Ah, but before I forget, the shock eggs for you. And with that, it's back to rehearsing for me. Wow, I like this guy. I like this guy. He is a good sport. Good sport indeed. Let's see who else we got to scare here. We got a particular scared, impatient man. Hello there, how's it going? Hope you've been waiting patiently for me. Ooh. Ah, seven hells. I swear it's worse when you know what's coming. So, what happens now? Chocobo lays a gemstone? No, shouldn't know what's too good to be true. More's the pity. What's the main reason I volunteer for this? You can't put much sorrow by dreams, as bad as I feel for that jilly lass. Any road, he's your shock egg. Gotta hand out to, ma to as many as I can if you want to collect my prize. Okay then, let's see, we gotta find one more individual here to scare. Where's the one more individual we gotta scare? Also, the egg jumbo animation is pretty cool, I like that. Anxious girl, hi! There you go. Eek! <laughs> I can't do girly voices, I'm sorry. My heart fairly, fairly stopped after so many frights, so you think you get used to it. But I must say, the egg never ceases to amaze me. How in the world do they make it hover like that? Oh, but I owe you a shock egg for a fine stock rendered. Loud as I scream each time, I find the sensation quite addictive. My well, thanks, adventure. <laughs> the girl loves the jump scares. The girl just absolutely loves the shocks and the jump scares. And oh my god, this weather is really murky. Kind of uh, putting a little hinder on uh, our activities here, but hopefully uh, <laughs> we won't let it ruin our adventure here. We won't let it ruin our fun of scaring, scaring the bejesus out of people. There we go, talk to Nanota. Ah, oh, welcome back! Have you started efforts met with success? As you have the shock egg to show for it? Ah, oh, there we go, shock eggs, there we go. I wonder if we can actually turn them in for a certain currency, or if this is just it. Those three eggs, process is ordered! You've done well, my friend! Miss Dreamer, Miss, Miss Dreamer, Miss Dreamer! Gotta be the rolls again. Hell's bells, that's what a shock and a half. Never mention there'll be others out there trying to startle us. Others? What are we talking about? A spriggan riding a rock, what else? Fell up here without warning and gave me a fright of my life. Fair soul myself. I as well. I was also re it was also real and visceral. I didn't even have to act. Joining in the festivities was the best decision ever. Here, here. Ah, but the exquisite flush of the fr uh, fright began to fade. Ain't another one soon. Perhaps I've had to follow the spring into Gudania. Oh, thank you, Miss Dreamer. I haven't had this much fun in a long while. Wow, the girl really loves the jump scares. Damn. Uh, are you welcome? She doesn't know what to say. It's like, sure? Um, adventure? Rock riding springs aren't a part of the plan, and I have a terrible feeling about this. We may have need of you aid beyond simply starting town folk. Hmm. So looks like Spriggan are involved in this case, huh? Interesting. I believe Spriggans, yeah, Spriggans had a huge role to play in previous and last year's events, so it would only make sense to do the same this year. 
Welcome to the heart, or should I say, the yolk of the Hatchetite Festival. The yolk of the Hatchetite. I love this game and its puns. Seriously, it's 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 wonderful. <laughs> Exceptional excitement for one and all. <laughs> it's so cute, yet it's so corny. It's so cheesy and corny. It's excellent. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Ag existential Christ? Egg puns. Uh, I'm, I probably gave you a very late warning, but prepare for egg puns. Lots and lots of egg puns. You help us? I knew we could depend on your adventure. Thank you! Should the spring cause a commotion in the city, the blame would inevitably, <laughs> inevitably fall upon our festival. In a worst case scenario, the authorities might permanently ban it. We cannot allow this to happen. Let us make haste for Gudania. Julian need to be alerted, assuming all hells haven't been broken loose. Alright then. Gurdania. Okay, we can go ahead and actually teleport to Gurdania here to make it a little bit easier on us. New Gurdania. There we go. Gonna go ahead and travel there and uh, see if you can report to Julie real quick. Julie Alipo. I'm trying to think. The Alipo name seems very, very familiar. I believe... <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if that part of the Zoe... Uh, Chloe and Zloe Alipo. I wonder, I wonder if those are the same names. I will need to look into it. The particular NPCs, particular, uh, Mikoti NPCs over in, towards, um, Idleshire, one of the cities in Hemsworth Ward that a lot of players hang out in, where we'll talk to Aiden about a quest later on. Um, I know I have this quest here, I probably should go ahead and turn it in, but I'm not gonna worry about it for now, we'll do it another time. Um, there's particular... Yeah, there's particular two NPCs that I really, really like in Adershine. I believe the last names are also Alipo. Huh, so maybe the Alipo name might be kind of big with the New Orleans name. I mean, since, you know, Julie Alipo is right here and she's doing the whole, uh, the whole Hatching Tide event. Huh, that's interesting. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to investigate that and see if that's uh, if that's correct. If somebody could let me know in the comments below as well, that'd be absolutely awesome as well. I'll really appreciate that. Uh, Elliot, Nora told me everything. As, as she had feared, a rock riding spriggan appeared in the city and began start, uh, startling uh, hapless citizens one after another. It's been utter chaos, and everyone thinks it's all part of the hatching tide. It didn't take long for word to reach the wood whalers, who are not too pleased. The threat to take swift and decisive action, which is to say hunt down the intruder. It must not come to violence, Elliot. Nay, we must find a peaceful solution. Reach out to the Spriggan somehow. Wriggling in his name, he has taken upon residence at uh, Great Lone Glory. I think that might be the Gardener's Guild, maybe. Oh, Botanist Guild. Uh, by all accounts, he is being extremely agitated. Must extremely no man, no egg buns, no man. He's looking for egg buns. We must soothe him somehow before the situation deteriorates. With me, Elliot. Okay, sounds good. Let's go on over to there, and boop, there we go. Make, go ahead and do the sprint so we can get there a little bit faster. I believe might be over at the botanist. Yep, it's a botanist area. Okay, good. Uh, the only reason I know that is because I've been picking up botany over my main character, so I do go by there every now and then uh, to do some of the class quest. Uh, technically, I guess a gathering quest. Yeah, ga gathering quest, technically. A gathering class quest. And I do hang out in this area quite a lot because it's just kind of nice and pretty. Yeah, whoa, there we go. There he is. Hello. There's a spriggan over there on a giant, giant boulder. I don't know the obsession with boulders, but I really, really like them. Riggy. Hi, Riggy. Don't remember you from previous events. Let me go ahead and go to social area here. Emotes. And I need to find soothe. 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 Oh, wait. I see it right there. There we go. Soothe. There we go. Riggy no bats, Briggy. Riggy only watchy. Watchy copy. You ride Biggie Eggy. Biggie Egg. Riggy ride Biggie Rock. Same, same. He make people laugh. Laugh makes happy. Happy good. Riggy won't make happy. It would seem Riggy was mimicking you. He simply wished to be a part of the hatching tide. Well, our festival is open to one and all. We'll all be richer for Riggy's presence, don't you agree? I also love uh, Julie's hat. I think it's really cute and kind of dumb looking, but it's so cute and silly. Her absolutely, I think she looks absolutely adorable in this. Riggy, join! Join! Make much happy! Then it's official. Just one thing, though. The city's a little too crowded for the fun we have in store. Let's take the reverie over to Herbsmill. 
Well, go on ahead and make your preparations. Please join us whenever you're ready. I wonder if we go there as well. I guess Ricky decides to join us for the hatching tide event. Yes, yeah, speak with Nonora at Hearst Mill. Okay, I guess we're going back then. That was quick. <laughs> They're not really making us uh, do any major activities like last year. Last year they had like mini games for us to play, and I really, really like that. And if we played enough mini games, I believe we could. No, no, never mind. That was a different thing. Um, but if you play enough minigames, we could actually get a lot of rewards. And I really like the rewards that you've gotten because they got progressively, like, more challenging and more challenging. And it just was really fun. <laughs> but this year, I guess, uh, we're losing the minigames to get them out. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty fair trade. I like how there's, you know, obviously, you know, they have only a certain amount of time they can put into creating the content and the little mini storylines for these events. Completely understandable. But... It is still absolutely, absolutely adorable how much work the uh, Square Enix team puts into this kind of thing, you know? They're, they take this stuff seriously, and I can really appreciate that. I strongly, strongly appreciate this amount of work and dedication to put in. Even for minor things like, you know, like Hatching Tide, you know? I don't know, maybe it's because I live in the States and Easter, or at least in my particular area, is not exactly a major thing. At least, like, you know, it's... Like, I don't see a parade for Easter. <laughs> I see a parade for Christmas, I see a parade for Thanksgiving, but I don't see a parade for Easter. Maybe it's just not really, you know, hitting with me as strongly as it would with other areas, I don't know. But it's still really awesome seeing Square go this far and do something so neat. I really, really like that. <laughs> and now we have a Rogadin flying around. I guess maybe Makotis do have a silly, a very, very silly uh, <laughs> expression regarding uh, regarding riding on the X here. Also, let me look at Jilly's uh, hat again. It's still rainy here. Oh, Jilly, she looks she looks so adorable in the hat. Even though the hat itself looks kind of dumb, she looks absolutely adorable in it. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, mostly because like her ears are like uh, tucked away into the hat because you know cat ears they can't really go anywhere. They have to be tucked through the hat. <laughs> so cute though, I like it. Uh, glad you could join us. With help from, from some volunteers, I'm pleased to report that Riggy is happy playing out in the forest. At first he was content to do his startling, but after a while he said that he wanted to be startled for change. So we took him to a secluded place, the better to know the thrill of good shock. And who better to deal with shock than you? Your task is to search for Riggy in Twelve's Wood, and when you find him, give him such a shock that he will never forget. You earn shock eggs for your troubles, of course. We'll give some to Riggy to give you. Together with those you received earlier, you ought to have enough for a splendid prize. As before, Money Yonder will help you out of the ex exhilaration system. Happy startling! Thank you, I appreciate that. Hey, Monte. Nora has informed me of the situation. Let me give you any eggs, shall we? Now, Riggy has three rock shock eggs. If you want them all, you need to startle him not once, not twice, but thrice. When you finish, return here and report to Nonota. Nonota? I think it's Nonota. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Anyway, let's see if we can find Riggy. Where are you hiding at, buddy? It's gonna be really hard to see him. Never mind, it's not gonna be as hard to see him because he is on a giant rock. Hey, buddy. How's it going? How you doing up there? He just sees us. Surprise! Spriggy, you find Riggy! Very shock funny! Hee hee hee! I don't know why I give him the voice. Riggy, give egg! Egg for you! Now, Riggy, hide! Hide again! I think that's how Spriggy would sound like. I don't know what Spriggy would sound like. I think they would have higher pitched voices, to be honest. But I'm trying my best here. I'm trying. I'm just trying my best to find Riggy. There he is. There you are, buddy. Find the game for a second time. There you go. Spriggy, you find Riggy! Find again! Riggy, give egg! Egg for you! Next egg, last egg! Last! Riggy, ride! Uh, Riggy, hide! Hide good! You know, find Riggy! We'll probably find Riggy, wherever he went. <laughs> come on, Riggy! Come out, come out, wherever you are! It's kind of hard... Oh, well, it's actually kind of... Yeah, it's kind of hard not to notice him, because he rides on a giant rock. A giant purple glowing rock. Hey, Riggy, how's it going? Riggy the Spriggy, wow. Riggy the Spriggan, wow. It's actually kind of cute. Riggy the Spriggy. Spriggy, you find Riggy. Riggy hide good, but you find gooder. Riggy give egg, egg for you. Give, uh, Riggy give back, give thanks. Thanks for shock funny. Shocky funny. Alright, I guess, I guess the guy really does enjoy jump scares. I didn't think that egg hunts and 
Easter, or I guess the Hatching Todd event, had anything to do with getting scared. I think it'd be more of like a Halloween event, but hey, whatever, you know. Who am I to judge the Hatching Todd event? I mean, I'm riding on a giant egg. <laughs> anything, literally anything is possible. <laughs> the Zuma wasn't as strong as I hoped it would be. Dr. Nota here. Oh, welcome back. And instead of succeeding in finding the Starling Riggy, may I see the sh three shock eggs? Yep, here you go. Wonderful! Riggy has a basket full of fun. It was no small part due to your superior starting skills. Now if you could wait just a moment, Riggy has gone to fetch the others. Okay, the others. Hmm. Interesting. We'll see what happens here. Oh, the others and the other contendants. That's what they did. Okay, I see. We found a wonderful new friend in Riggy, and that thanks to you, Elliot. His enthusiasm has been infectious, a gift to the festival, and never dreamed. <gasps> How could it be? Yes, it yes, it must. Gemstone, I beheld my dreams as a chocobo lead. It's not other than Riggy. Wait, what? <laughs> the magnificent rock Riggy rides upon, the dazzling smile upon his face of those two hardy of those who hearts whose hearts he touched, together they appear as priceless gemstones. There could be no mistake. Yet another vision has become reality, and I owe it all to every one of you, but most of all, uh, <laughs> but you most of all, Elliot. Oh, that reminds me, our adventure uh, friend Gardner goodly <laughs> a, go a goodly haul of shock eggs. There you go. My word, look at these! Such dedication calls for a special prize! The hovering egg! I want you to have it, Elliot! Wait, what? You can't be serious, Jilly! We poured our hearts into building the egg acceleration system, set up nights to make it flow. Oh. <gasps> How's she gonna react? Oh, I didn't mean to say it out loud! No, wait, what I meant was. The offering eggs do your work? Why, that's incredible! You genius, Nonota. Or Nonota, I guess. You like it? I thought you'd be upset that it's a uh, contrivance rather than a gift from Arkans of old. The Arkans work in mysterious ways, dear Nonota. Or Nonota? Nonota? I think it's Nonota. It was by their guidance, I believe, that you built the egg, an egg fit to serve as the vessel. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Why is she crying already? <laughs> that means a lot to me, Jilly. Search as we might, we couldn't find a hovering egg, but with the hatching tide fast approaching, we can bear seeing you sad and so... and so... Say no more, Nonota. Nonota? I keep making it right. Whatever, it's Nonota from now on. <laughs> Know that I'm truly grateful for everything, and I certainly wouldn't dream of giving away your precious creation against your wishes, so I ask your permission to give, the, uh, to give Elliot the exhilaration system, you call it? As she who led us to the gemstone, I can think of none other than... Un not all the more to write uh, worthy to write it. Jesus, I I I nailed that, didn't I? You have the right. You have the right of it, Jilly. It'd be honored. I'd be honored if she were to write it always. And you, Elliot, you're a dear friend, as dear as nay, dearer than magnificent, dazzling gemstone. You've done much more. <laughs> you've done much more and more for us all, and the exhilaration system is the least we can offer you in return. May it bury you all. <laughs> Made bury you to all you have ever dreamed. Thank you. I appreciate Fox Salvation System. Thank you, Nanora and Julie. Thank you. That was, uh, nailed that down, didn't I? <laughs> kindred surprise. Oh my god, kindred surprise. I love that. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get it, actually add it over to our inventory so we can forever ride this thing, forever. Use it. There we go. Also, my inventory looks like crap. I need to fix this. It's a mess. Oh my lord. I even have the cooking Cheryl. I don't even know what it's for, but it's for something. It's a cooking ingredient, apparently. Uh, let's do Mount Kide. The exhilaration system. After learning of the latest of Dreamer's visions, a giant floating uh, ovoid delivered egg to all the good boys and girls of the realm. Nanona and friends literally scrambled to find a means to bring in her dream to life, as the required was a little aid from the sons of Saint Koinak and the remnants of some ancient elegant technology. Moment airborne and has the the surprised uh, Shokobo expression, which I don't know how we can uh, enable here. There should be a way to do it. He can miss like here action the traits. I think it might be a pet. No, it's not a pet thing. What is it? It's something I it's something I don't know if it, if it's down a controller or not. 
Hmm. Maybe I gotta like cycle through this until I can find it. Five, six, seven, eight. No, it's nowhere to be found. The the action here. I don't even know how we can do this action here. Uh let's jump. That's map. I don't know. I don't know how we can do the action. I do know that if I were to go over to let's say for example uh, character configuration and do this, then I can actually hit it with number one. So the chocobo would actually just kind of burst out here. Let me show it to you. There you go. And boop. And let a shock chocobo will come out and uh, do its little thing. It's actually pretty adorable. It's actually pretty, pretty adorbs. Also, it's really dark in this game, so I might want to go to an area that's a little bit lighter. <laughs> let me see what I can do here. Uh, now that I'm in that area. Oh, God, I need to fix my control layout. There we go. It's a little bit easier. Finally. Whew. Uh, let's go over to... Uh, I, I still should have the emote on me of being shocked and everything, so let's see if... Never mind, we don't have the emote of being shocked yet. <laughs> it's a little glowy, like the egg itself glows radiantly. It's a little bit a little bit off-putting in the, in the dark. I wish it wasn't as bright or as intense, right? Uh, let's go over to a looking scared. There we go. We gotta make ourselves look scared <laughs> as we ride the top of the egg. <laughs> I love that. The expression is amazing. I absolutely love that. Let's zoom out a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> I love that. It's like a scared cat. It's literally a scared cat here. <laughs> Let's go and make your face a little bit to the side like this. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. That's thumbnail. That's thumbnail worthy. Nevertheless, ladies and gents, I'm gonna go ahead and actually wrap up right around here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Hope you participated in the Hatch and Tide event of yourself on 26, 2017. And uh, hope you got yourself a funny silicon egg. And uh, if you can, if you want to, you can you can feel free to actually tweet at me a picture of your character writing it. Show me some ridiculous or silly looking poses that your character may have or may not have. Or if your character looks really cool, feel free to tweet at that as well. If you want to, I would really love to see some of your pictures and everything. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. My name is Stamriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you all wonderful people over in the next Final Fantasy 14 video. Anyway, see ya!